Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Liz. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I've got a very, very exciting new launch video review today for you. I have opened the box just so it's easier for me, but look at that gorgeous packaging. It was P. Louise's birthday the other day and she's done a special packaging for ordered the new launch or around the time of her birthday. I don't know if she's still doing it though, I'm not sure, but stunning. So I haven't actually looked at them yet, so let's have a look. I specifically went for the minimal everyday makeup look today, just so the lips are going to be the standout thing in this video, obviously. So before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and if you enjoy my review videos. I will list the reviews that I've done in the past, so go check those out. I've only done the Pink Honey one so far because I want to get this one up next. Hopefully Sunday. It is currently Friday. Fingers crossed. But yeah, so if you want to see what my thoughts are on the new P. Louise collection, the lip bases, then keep on watching. Let's open this package. She's got a very big paragraph there. I'm not going to read it all because I'll be here forever. So it comes with one of these as well. It just says, Pee-wee's, thank you for your order, babe. Now dive into your potential. Love that. So positive. I love that vibe. Okay. So it comes in this packaging. I have just ripped it off because it's just, again, easier. And also, at the time, she was having like a little mini base, which is in number 02. Love that. Also, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway very soon once I hit a thousand subscribers and maybe 3,000 on Instagram. I'm going to start doing a giveaway and I've started to collect a few things, but I want to put some stuff from P. Louise in there. So let me know what you would like to see in the giveaway and yeah, comment them down below. But that's cute. It's only a five mil. So even though it's like tiny, there's quite a lot in there. I bought the whole collection. So they had a deal on where it was £110 down to £80 for the 11, the bundle, which has all 11 in them. I'm just going to get the website up so I can get some information. So individually, these are £10 each. I'm going to open this up. Ooh. The scent coming from here. Delicious. That's all I can say. Delish. Us. So when I talk about in each individual one, I'll hold it up and then like put it up by my lips. But for now I'm just going to pop them on the bottom here. Oh my god, there's such a wide variety of shades. Stunning. I gotta admit, I love the packaging. Let me pick a different shade. So this is the packaging. Please ignore my nails as well. I, I apologise. But packaging is absolutely stunning. It normally is is from P. Louise. Stunning. I love the theme that she goes for. It's 15 mils, which is great. £10 for 15 mils. It's basically the same size as the base, which I'll grab. So this is the base. Obviously mine's been used, um, the base. So yeah, it's pretty much the same size but it comes with a lip gloss applicator which I'm not sure if I'm gonna like. I'm gonna like this for client work but probably not on myself because I've got the peach and cream lip glosses which are exactly the same in like a squeezable tube and I don't like applying it with that. I like to pop it on the back of my hand or on something else, a palette or something and using a brush or my fingers. So just I'm going to bear that in mind because I might just have to use my finger. You've got colours from nudes to pinky nudes to peachy nudes to pinky shades, um, more brown tones, you've got an orange, you've got red, you've got a deep berry tone. So I'm super excited to use these. Now I'm going to read a little bit off my laptop. I'm going to get off my phone so I'm just looking at you. Introducing our P. Louise lip base. 
a super hydrating and creamy formula which makes the perfect pout achievable in seconds. A thick consistency to ensure for a smooth application whilst still giving an instant colour tint and velvety matte finish. I like that it's a velvety matte finish because I'm not a massive fan of like liquid lipsticks on their own but with a sort of like a satin finish, sat like a velvety finish that they say, I quite like ones like that because it dries down but it's not really drying and matte. Combined with a drag free application that ensures a seamless glide for maximum precision and effect. All you need is a pea sized amount of product for a high impact finish. Bear that in mind. Provide stay true colour for a long wearing, non feathering and non bleeding application. Unlike most lip products in the industry, our P. Louise lip base does not flake off or crack and layering is not necessary. With the P. Louise lip base, the smallest amount goes the longest way, so that's like the paints, they go a long way. And their bases, I suppose. Guaranteeing extended longevity within anyone's makeup kit. So again, I probably will use these most of the time in my lip kit, apart from maybe like a few of the nudes, because I'll have those myself and I'll have to buy some more. Um, and then it says, formulated with the benefits of vitamin E, shea butter and hyaluronic acid for a creamy, nourishing and smooth formula. Designed to help you create the most kissable of lips. I love that it's got lip benefits in with it. Always a benefit when you've got really dry lips and you've popped on a lip product with some skin benefits in there, or lip skin benefits. Um, vitamin E and shea butter and hyaluronic acid. Like, what a great combination. So love that. Ooh, it's got a vanilla for added luxury. Vanilla scent, that's what it is. You can literally smell it from the tube. So if you don't like strong scents, you might not like this, but we'll see what it's like when it goes on the lips. Oh my god, my eyelashes come off. Okay, so now we know a bit about the product, let's see if it actually applies nicely and the colour payoff's nice. So what I'll do is I will swatch it on the back of my hand. I'm going to do like a speedy clip through this part because there is 11. I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna get them all done for you today, of course, in one sitting. Hopefully my lips won't like dry out or anything, but I've got my lip balm at ready, you know. So first of all, I'm gonna see the consistency. So let's see. I'm gonna swatch one on the back of my hand to see the payoff. Shall I do the nude first? No, let's go with the red, the like berry toned one. So let's have a look. So obviously you've got the squeezy top to it. Oh, that came out quick. Okay. That was literally only a little tiny bit. And obviously you've got the excess there then on the top. Let's feel it. Oh yeah. That does feel nice. It's not as dark as I thought it was going to be, but this would look absolutely stunning on deeper skin tones. Got my my cellar water at the ready. So now I'm gonna zoom you in and we are going to apply. A deep and rich burgundy hue with a warm undertone. Left on red which is a bold and intense true tone red. And then we've got a um, button, which is an electric and vivid orange toned shade. Then we've got Bad Intentions, which is a deep earthy brown shade with an intense terracotta undertone. And 
We've got All Night, which is an intense brick red hue with a medium brown undertone. Then we've got Whipped, which is a vibrant, punchy peach tone with a soft coral undertone. Devar, Devu, Devar, Devu. We've got Devu, which is a vivid coral shade with a subtle touch of vibrant orange. Classy, which is a mid-tone coral with a deep peach undertone. She likes her coral shades. Then we've got Semi Nude, a light peachy nude with a subtle beige pink undertone. Then we've got Solo Nude, which is a warm and true taupe brown nude. And then lastly, we've got Stark Naked, which is a soft and light muted nude with a golden brown undertone. Okay, so I have swatched all of them on my lips now. I'm just going to keep this one on. I think I might line my lips because they do look a little bit wild. Um, I'm just going to take MAC Strip down. Bit better. <laughs> I absolutely love the shades. I have to admit though, I'm not a fan of the applicator for how pigmented they are on my personal self. So on my clients it would be amazing because I can just pop that on a palette and I'm good to go. What I found that I did enjoy doing is getting a little lip brush. This is the one from Peach and Cream, the PC55. I'm not sure if P. Louise do a lip brush but I'll find out. If they do I'll link it down below. Um, I found that using a brush, putting a bit on the back of my hand and using a brush with yeah as I was saying <laughs> um I much preferred doing that method popping a little pea size like she said on the back of my hand and using a brush and then sometimes I would pat with my finger to get away the excess I don't know if you noticed the orange the bright orange I did apply a little bit too much and I wish I would have done the nudes first and then the darker brighter colors because I didn't use any 
like brush or anything like that for them and that's probably it was those ones the most with a brush because it's like precise so definitely recommend using a brush it's definitely a nice way of maintaining like product and like knowing how much product you're using and it's versatile so using this sort of product without a Dove applicator is amazing for makeup artists like myself and if you are a makeup artist as well I definitely recommend. What I'm also going to say as well is you can mix these colours and get your own desired colour. So I'm just going to pop um, Bad Intentions on the back of my hand. My favourites were the nudes I gotta admit. And then I'm going to pop a little bit of Stark Naked which I've got on my lips now. I'm going to mix them together and you can create your own shade and it's still exactly the same formula so again amazing for makeup artists and people out there who are looking for specific shades I absolutely love that you can be versatile with these it's amazing so that's one of the reasons again why I would recommend these for makeup artists or if you like experimenting with colour. Also as well, I'm not 100% sure if these are eye safe, but I believe you can use these on the eyes, like the paints and the bases. You can actually use those as lip products or blushes or anything like that. So I'm gonna definitely try that out next time on my eyes and on my cheeks, because the only thing you've got to think about though is it does have vitamin E and shea butter in there, and hyaluronic acid so it's probably not going to dry down matte like the paints so they might be more of like a creamy shiny finish on the eyes so if you're doing like a funky eye look and you wanted like a shine to it then maybe use it for that or obviously just go in with powder eyeshadow on top as you can see I've had this on for a bit now and it has dried down but it hasn't gone into any of my lines it still feels like a comfortable matte, velvety matte finish. First impressions, I'm actually really liking it so far. I'm of course going to use them in future videos, so stay tuned for those. This definitely has a thumbs up from Liz, definitely. So if you are thinking about buying these, I know you can get bundles, so you can like mix and match the different shades that you prefer but I'm so glad I got all of them so I can try them all out and I can experiment and like I said I can mix them as well so I'm super excited to do that so let me know down below if you want to see any other information about these and like a couple of uses after I will let you know if I still enjoy them but at the moment I am absolutely loving it normally lip products look really cakey and dry on my lips from now onwards but it's looking good so really liking them definitely recommend and they are a decent price and you can get discounts from creators on social media so definitely go check the discount codes out i know rebecca capel has a 10 percent discount so definitely go check that out she has a youtube as well or just check her out on instagram wish i had one for you but i don't sorry <laughs> um maybe in the future if you enjoyed this video then please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already if you want to see more reviews from me then please let me know any of your suggestions down below in the comments i would love to know what you want me to review i love reviewing like new products or what's hot at the moment um what's trending or if you're looking for a specific product and you're not sure then i'd be very happy to try it out for you and give you my review and my personal opinion so yeah please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to go head over to my tiktok and my instagram as well they both make it by liz rose they're like behind the scenes sort of things and once i hit a thousand on tiktok i think i'm gonna go live for the first time ever even on instagram i haven't done that maybe i'll go live on instagram as well do you want to see that let me know and if anyone wants to go live with me then please do let me know because i will be definitely up for that because it's scary scary shit so i hope you have a lovely day or evening or night wherever you are and i'll see you in my next one bye guys